This is Richard R.J. Escal for The Zero Hour, and this week marked the 100-year anniversary of the death of Martha the Pigeon. Martha was the last of the passenger pigeon, a bird which once filled the entire United States, was so plentiful that the skies used to darken with its migrations. The naturalist Charles Dury wrote this about the heyday of the passenger pigeon, and we quote, the fall migrations of the wild pigeons were an impressive sight. In Cincinnati, the birds liked to come out in the afternoon and evening, and generally when the day was cloudy. They flew in long columns or strings, side by side, very high in the sky. Sometimes the flocks would come together and would stretch from horizon to horizon. In seasons when the beech nuts were abundant, the passenger pigeons would come to the ground. They would eat the nuts until the nuts were gone, while other birds kept watch up above. Here they were much easier to shoot, wrote Dury, though one could never slaughter so many as the professional pigeon trappers. Yes, there were professional pigeon trappers. People were even given bounties at certain points in history to hunt them because they were considered a pest. But we overshot the mark, as we so often tend to do in civilized or so-called civilized society. The passenger pigeon has now been an extinct for a century. Uh, new species go extinct every week. In this planet with consequences we have yet to fully understand or foresee. We ought to be thinking about that during Climate Week. I'm Richard R.J. Escow, and this is The Zero Hour.